Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about some products that I use to actually tone my hair right at home. So I have them all in front of me. I'm going to talk about which ones are my favorite and how to use them. I learned that having like medium to dark brown hair, you have to tone your hair differently than most like natural blondes would. So I feel like I have a lot to cover, so let's just get right into it. All right, so before I talk to you guys about the products that I use, I wanna talk about how I have to tone my hair differently than someone with natural blonde hair would. So if you guys look onto my roots, this is actually my natural hair color. So I would say that I have like a medium brown hair color. I've been dyeing my own hair, like I just use box hair dye for years now and I just go in with highlights and then over time it just sort of became like a balayage ombre type of look. But yeah, so because I have medium to dark brown hair, I've always noticed that even in the bleaching process, I'll notice that it'll get like to an orangey gold color and usually I'll have to bleach my hair a couple times to get to the desired effect that I want because I do have darker hair. So you guys notice that a lot of blondes will go in with purple shampoo and that is because their hair tends to get kind of yellowish um, so if you look at the color wheel, purple goes against yellow, so it makes sense that going in with purple shampoo would cancel out the yellow. So that works for me, but that only works for me in the very ends of my hair, where my hair is the lightest, like the most blonde. But for the rest of my hair, I'll go in with actually blue shampoo. So I actually have two blue shampoos right in front of me, which I'm going to hold up and show to you guys. So I'll explain like why I use blue shampoo versus purple shampoo but because I am a natural brunette my hair is gonna be a little bit more on the orangey brassy side so if you are a brunette that colors your hair blonde you will definitely notice this so if you guys look on the color wheel blue cancels out orange so so it only makes sense that us brunettes would use blue shampoo versus purple shampoo but like I explained since I have you know a bunch of different colors going on in my hair like a little bit of a balayage ombre I'll go in with both and I'll talk to you guys about how I go in with the two shampoos. So I'm gonna show you guys the purple and blue shampoo that I use. I actually have three brands in front of me um, and I'll explain to you why I like some better than other ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it up and I'm also gonna show you guys on my hands like exactly what it looks like zoomed in to show you guys like how freaking pigmented these shampoos are. Like the more pigmented the purple or blue shampoo is and the more vibrant it is, like the more that's gonna tone your hair and make it look ashier and get rid of those brassy tone so so my favorite brand when it comes to toning your hair is the Fanola uh, shampoo so this is the purple one this is the anti yellow shampoo hands down this is the best purple shampoo I have ever used whenever people ask me what I use to tone my hair I always say Fanola this is the best best it doesn't matter how many other purple shampoos I've tried this Fanola is the best I have ever used so I also use this one, this is the anti-orange, and this one is the one that I use all over my hair, and then for the very end, like the tips, I'll go in with this one. So purple shampoo, I'll go in for the ends of my hair, which is the lightest ends, and then the part where it's like medium blonde, I'll go in with my, so I'll go in with the anti-orange blue shampoo. So around all over my hair, I'll go in with the blue shampoo, and the very tips of my hair, I'll go in with the purple shampoo. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in, show you guys what it looks like on my hand. So you could actually get the Fanola brand in Walmart now and it is the legit brand. And I'll explain to you guys why I say like legit. So this actually retails for $21.99, which is pretty good price because these are really, really big. This is 38.8 uh, fluid ounces, so that's very big. I mean, you guys can see they're pretty big. So this is a really, really good price point, and the reason that I say that Walmart sells the legit, I'll explain why. Okay, so I've actually been using this brand, Fanola, for about three years now, and when I used to buy it three years ago, it was not available on Amazon or Walmart. It was only available from Fanola.com, and it was in it like this is made in Italy this is an Italian brand so I had to pay for shipping and it was very pricey I remember the total coming to $60 just for this shampoo and literally it was so much it was so much but I kept buying it because I truly thought that that was worth it like $60 for purple shampoo was crazy but in my opinion I really really thought it was worth it like I tried so many brands from the drugstore and I was like nah this is it like this is it this is the best 
So I used to actually pay that much for it, which was crazy. But I remember I had the legit one from Fanola, and then I saw that they were selling it in Walmart. I hopped on that so quick. So I ordered it and I compared the one from Walmart to the real one, the Fanola one, and it was exactly the same. I even compared the formulas on my hand, everything, like compared the bottle, like the same thing. So Yes, it is now being sold in Walmart. It's legit. Definitely get it at Walmart uh, for sure if you can. They also have it on Amazon. Um, I don't know. I don't think I bought the one from Amazon, but Amazon does have a pretty good return policy if it doesn't work for you. I've heard of Amazon like selling like fake like lotions and like hair stuff, which is so crazy and annoying because I really like Amazon. But if they're doing that, then that really sucks. But. The one from Walmart is legit and it's, but the one from Walmart is legit and it's a little bit less, like a couple dollars less than Amazon. So I would recommend just going with the one from Walmart. But another thing, so when you do apply that purple shampoo, there's two ways that you can apply it. You can either apply it in the shower with your hair wet and just let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes. You can shave your legs. I don't know, exfoliate your skin, whatever it is you want to do in the shower. For the very first time you do it, I do recommend doing like 10, 15 minutes. But then afterwards, I would just do like five minutes. Um, depending on your hair, like I would only do this once a week. This is, you know, this is literally toning your hair. So it's a little bit stronger than regular shampoo. So, so you want to make sure that you're really just toning your hair once a week. If you do have a special event, then usually I'll do it like back to back. But that's only if I have a special event. If you really want your hair to look really, really ashy, almost even silver, um, what you can do is actually put the purple or blue shampoo in your hair while it is dry and leave it in for about 20 minutes and, I, and I'm telling you that it will leave your hair looking real real ashy and like it's almost silver if that's what you want You can do it dry. So another brand that I used to really really love and this is the one that I first heard it with But I just felt like the Fanola was a little bit more stronger and really got out those tones but this I like to use like um, every once in a while and it's not drying at all. It actually makes your hair really shiny. So I actually have this one. This is the blue one and this is the brand Joico. They're a really good hair brand. So this is the blue shampoo. Although I think the Fanola one is definitely a lot stronger. But I really like this one as well because it's very gentle. Whereas this one I feel like could dry out my hair a little bit more than this one does. The reason I'm recommending Joico is just because it's a little bit more gentle than the Fanola and it still does a pretty good job. I just think the Fanola will do the good job like right in one wash, whereas I think this one you kind of have to build it up. But the Joico one is really good too. They also have this in purple shampoo as well. Okay, you guys, so another brand that I actually just started using is the John Frieda Violet Crush and I actually really really like this. I don't know if they have it for per for blue shampoo But I've been using the purple shampoo. Um, so I think this compared to Fanola I would say this does like a better job uh, Of making it a bit more ashier like a little bit more on the silver side Whereas I feel like this one will give you that more like I feel like this one doesn't make your hair as ashy as This one does but that this one sort of gives you like that light blonde look so if you're kind of going for that and you don't want it to be like too toned, like you just want to go a little bit like you want your hair to be toned, but you don't want it to be to the point that it's like silver or purple, then I would recommend this one just because I feel like the Fanola one is very strong. I mean, I like the Fanola a lot because I want a really strong purple shampoo if I'm going to tone my hair. But if you don't want that and you want something a bit more gentle, then I would go in with the John Frieda. Uh, Violet crush for blonde. So they also have a conditioner one too. So I've been using the conditioner as well in my Alright guys, so in my opinion um, Obviously, I think all of these lines also have a conditioner with it But to be honest, I don't really use this conditioner that much I just think in my opinion um, if you're going in with conditioner as well It's a little too much for your hair But if you think your hair can handle it then go in with the conditioner I just think it's a little bit too much like going with purple shampoo already because it could be drying and then on top with per with the conditioner but in a way the conditioner will be good because it helps really lock that in i just think in my opinion you don't need the purple conditioner as well like you don't need that extra step because it's you're already gonna get uh rid of the brassy tones with just the shampoo itself so yeah john frida was kind enough to actually gift me this and i've been using it and i actually ended up really liking it so if you're looking for a purple shampoo that's really gonna give you like that light blonde color then i would recommend this it's very gentle all right you guys so that's pretty much it i went over the three brands that i really like 
So now I'm just gonna talk about how to kind of keep your hair toned and looking fresh and so some things that I do personally is when I tone my hair what I'll do is I probably won't wash it two to three days afterwards I want it to like really sink in the hair and I just feel like washing your hair afterwards gets rid of it more so if you want the purple or blue shampoo to work even better there's some other things that you can do to add so I used to do this but I ran out of it but I used to use a Neutrogena anti-residue um, clarifying shampoo. Any clarifying shampoo will be good. So clarifying shampoo just really helps to get rid of all the gunk and oils in the hair. So you're kind of starting fresh. So when you go in afterwards with a purple or blue shampoo, the purple and blue shampoo is just going to stick to the hair because you got rid of all the gunk. Another thing to keep uh, the, your hair looking very toned is try not to straighten your hair if you can or if you really have to strain your hair, don't go above 200 degrees. For example, so I used to actually dye my hair a dark brown and whenever I would go in with a flat iron um, and I would go in with like 300, 400 degrees. So I would go in with a straightener and just like straighten my hair and I would literally see like the color come off. And I also saw Guy Tang like show this in a video how like people who do like colored hair like don't go above 300 or 400 because it literally strips the color away from your hair so you know you don't want to waste you know those 20 minutes that you spent in the shower like with the purple shampoo and then just go in with your straightener and basically just get rid of all the work you done you don't want to do that so if you're going to straighten your hair and you have to then i would recommend not going above 200 degrees so so another thing that I do is I make sure that my both my shampoo and my conditioner, especially the conditioner that you're going to go in after you go in with the purple shampoo, has no sulfates, no parabens. So basically, if you want to go in even with like a colored shampoo, that'd be good too. So sulfates kind of strip away the hair from their natural like oil. So when you go in with a product that has sulfates or you go in with a product that has that, you're going to strip away like the purple shampoo and you know all the work that you did and you don't want to do that. So make sure you are using a sulfate free shampoo or conditioner afterwards. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little hair in info video. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram at beautybydreav and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.